mean, again, another full team win. Um, North Dakota State's a team that I would say yearly gives us some struggles. Uh, a lot of the sets actually in the last couple years have only been won by two points. So for us to be able to come out and um, kind of create some leads other than that first set and, and win a little bit more decisively, I think said a lot about uh, the work that this team has put in. I mean, they mentioned it a little bit. Uh, we definitely focused on slowing down uh, their outsides a little bit more this week. That was a focus of ours. Um, and to see both of their outsides hit um, under 100 and then you know 174, I feel like those are good, uh, much better percentages from what we've seen with some of the other outsides that we've played. So um, I, I think you know so much of this team uh, so far has been offensive. Um, we've we've hit for a high percentage in both of these matches now, hitting over 400 again tonight um, with a couple of players with pretty high hitting percentages again. Um, but I, I do think that you saw a little bit more of the defensive aspect of our team tonight. Um, Lolo had a really good night. Uh, I still think there's probably a few that she would like back, um, but I felt like she was reading their hitters uh, at a pretty high rate um, and just a little bit more of that one step ahead rather than having to make kind of those last minute plays, which was good. And it kept us in a lot more rallies. It gave us multiple chances to take big swings. Um, and that's the thing, she's not just digging the ball, she's digging the ball in the system at a really high rate right now, uh, which is allowing us to transition out of it pretty efficiently, which is really good. Um, I thought our blockers, I mean, we ended up with seven blocks. I think two of them came late in that third set. Um, but it, it's not necessarily about the block number. I actually think our blockers did a much better job tonight, though, of setting up, taking away space that they're supposed to, and letting our defense play around. Uh, and I think that was, that, was a, that was an important change for us to see. Um, you know, I think being down 16-10 in the first set, definitely, you just saw that we weren't quite settled in. And um, after we took that time out, I, I don't really know what, what what the switch was. It was really focused on our side of the court. Um, but I think we said it, it just took that one or two plays for us to see, like, okay, we can do this. And I think we made up that deficit actually pretty quickly after that timeout. Um, held them hitting-wise to a, a very low kill number after that timeout, and we actually got better through that. So. Um, good team, good team win. Um, Elizabeth Junkie hit her 1,000th kill tonight, which is obviously a great feat and something that we're, um, I know she's proud of and something that we're obviously proud of her for accomplishing as well. Um, but just really looking forward to getting on the road now. Um, getting out of three is a, is a huge thing for us tonight. So you talked about shutting down their outsides, but how about the performance of your outsides offensively? Yeah, I mean, they. I think they both had their moments. You know, I think Sammy, we didn't get her going as much as we have in some of those other sets, but she also went on a couple of really good serving runs. So, I mean, she's in the back row more often with some of those runs. She's not getting the same amount of attempts as um, as Junkie was getting tonight. Um, I thought Junkie was, was really good. I mean, she was moving the ball around. Um, I think she was playing very confidently, which was good to see. Um, and I think it helps. I mean, I think the, the thing that people forget sometimes is that, that's still set up by the, the way the team is playing. You know, Amy with having nine kills and hitting 471, um, Harms having 10 kills, hitting over 600, Weeds hitting, you know, having six kills and hitting, over, hitting 500. Um, people have to pay attention to those other attackers, which opens things up on the outside for us. So I think if you look at last year's team compared to this year's team, I just think we're, uh, we're, we are able to spread the ball out a lot and we are able to get people involved and going in different situations um, in different streaks and, and utilizing that uh, is allowing us to hit for a high percentage. Yeah, and you mentioned that the, you know, the blocks kind of came late, but it seemed earlier in the set it was more your back row that dug some tough balls, and it seemed like Madison then, um, or your back row players put your put hitters, especially Junkie, in position to get kills. It just seemed like one good play led to another, led to another, and that got you points. Is that how you saw it? Yeah, I, I, so much of our team, I mean, we do, we feed off of runs. We feed off of that energy that we can create, not only ourselves as a team, but then obviously being at home and our crowd can create as well. So I think just as the, the, the longer you can keep a run going, the more confident teams are gonna be. Um, and obviously you saw that tonight. And uh, I think it was, a, it was a good change for us. We had um, seven aces, eight errors, and almost at that one-to-one -one ratio, which is a ratio that I would love to be able to see. And coming off of a match that we had 19 errors in four sets, um, that was a that's a good change, and it wasn't that um, you know we had two aces and 19 errors. So then to see us kind of up a, up that ace number and lower that error number was really good, um, and something that we have to continue to focus on as the season progresses. 
What's the toughest thing on a, a stretch of five, of three matches in five days, two on the road? Uh, fatigue. Uh, I mean, fatigue is the, the biggest thing that we have to be aware of, and that's why you know winning in three tonight is huge for us, so that we can get out of here a little bit quicker, um, they can recover, they can rest, get on the bus early tomorrow morning, um, and then we got to make sure we take, our, take care of our bodies on the road. And uh, Our team does a good job of it, but I think it's just making sure that that stays a priority for us. Um, but when you're playing that many matches, it, it does. It takes a toll on you. So you're going to reside a little bit on that, uh, that adrenaline, um, you know, just the, the game day adrenaline that can come with it. Um, but that's probably the biggest thing right now. And then obviously being on the road for the second two um, is going to create a challenge. But uh, I, I think this team, you know, we've played more on the road than we have at home. So we're, we're ready for that. Um, and I think just now that we're in Summit League play, I just feel like we've really settled in um, and allowed ourselves to play more consistently up to our capabilities. Maddie, what were the keys for tonight? Um, I think the keys were holding the other team uh, to a certain hitting percentage. This week we've worked a lot on how to defend certain players, and I think we really brought that onto the court tonight, and we really showed improvement and how much this uh, week in practice has paid off. And I also think just staying confident on our side of the net um, really showed, and I think that was a huge key was staying consistent and also making that flip in the first set. Yeah, what was the flip in the first set there? Um, I think we just needed that one play, the one, like, okay, we got this, take a deep breath. And once we did that, I think all of our confidence just came back and we were good to go. Lolo, what were some of the keys against their hitters? Um, I think one big thing for us was really watching their outsides and um, knowing their hitting tendencies, where they go, and so, um, one of our big focuses this week was blocking and um, really focusing on everyone doing their job on the court. And I mean, I think we did a great job of that tonight. Our hitting percentage is great. Um, you know, they only hit 134, so I think it was really good for us. And what was your thoughts on that first hat, that first set adjustment? Um, yeah, I think uh, sometimes we get in our own heads a little too quickly, and I think with that first set, it was kind of more of we're in control of this game, like we know what we need to do. Um, and just started playing more team defense. So You seem to be in the right spot more often than not. Coaching or you? I'd say it's coaching. <laughs> <laughs> um, ladies, what does it mean when you start a stretch here, you got three matches in five days, these next two on the road? I'm going to assume getting out of here as quick as possible was the key. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, at this point in the season, keeping our bodies healthy and resting and working through fatigue as much as we possibly can. I think that this stretch will teach us a lot about ourselves. I mean, towards the end of the season, we're gonna have the Summit League tournament and games before that, and so I think that we have to learn about ourselves and how we work through fatigue, so I think that this uh, stretch is really gonna help us there. And Lolo, you're a veteran. What's the key to getting some wins in the Summit on the road? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's kind of just really focusing on our side of the court. Um, not thinking about the crowd or who's cheering out there, like it's really just focusing on our side and um, I think that helps us immensely. So.